Shut up, baby! Took on the block and really corralled Sherman for no gain. Andrew Shoot now six for ten for 56 yards. His longest gainer and his 17 yard throw. It is tight end Brandon Hall. Second and ten. Leverage Jim to get a first down. It's coming back after the delay. Here they'll kick it out. And this is going to be a nice play. Catching the football and running with it is Mike Duncan, the wide receiver, sophomore out of Asula. Montana. That for you. John will have an interview. We'll look at highlights. We'll look at stats. Up yet now methodically moving down the field as they drop it into the belly of Mike Duncan again. And Mike's going to pick up nine yards on that. So three straight completions by Andy, Andrew Shoup to go here in the first half. And as Mike mentioned, one timeout left. Fires, got a man wide open. And getting cut in half down there is Mike Duncan, but a good catch and run before Ivan Tago makes the tackle. Brings up a third and 15 from the 18-yard line. He'll go trips to the top of your screen. Hebron in the backfield. And a big play in this ball game right here. Mike, even if they get half the yard, it'll set up a little easier field goal. Back on the middle. That's going to be a touchdown. Let me know. Mike with the grab. The Sossel with his first career touchdown. 18 yards. Uh, Egan had a great throw in for Duncan, and he's having a heck of a night. Boss, that is his 12th of his career. That was pretty. Big hit. Big score. Stay with us. Ross at the top all by himself, one on one coverage. Isaac Fat, good protection. He'll fire out here. That's going to be a good catch. Now, is it going to be a. Yep. I think they're going to give him progress to the 30, or are they going to change? He stacked the box. That happened on a third and five. Mike saw it from up here. The one on one coverage. Over the middle. Downfield. Touchdown. Oh, my. Oh, my. A great grab by Mike Duncan. A 26 yard touchdown throw. Zach Swisey to Mike Duncan for the score. Duncan's second touchdown of the year. And that was that single receiver on the backside. Again, they went right back after Wilk. And uh, you can see Swisey right here. He's going to sit in the pocket, give that offensive line a lot of credit. He just has got a lot of time back here to take that extra second right here to see him just hold on the ball and lay it up over the middle. And that time, Duncan, a touchdown last week against William & Mary. And he comes up big again. Oh. Yeah, definitely, and we're just trying to focus on the next game. We don't want to think about it, like too far down the road. Just one game at a time. Get through the week of practice. Have a good week of practice, and then get the win. At practice. Play fake. Shoot. Little time before he's hit. Firing deep downfield. Great catch. Mike Duncan slides and makes the grab. All the way back across the field. I mean, who, who I like that? Game 32. For a sophomore from Missoula, Montana. You see the inside receiver right there. He just boot night to him. He comes out and just runs across the field. And man coverage right there we talked about before. 15 yard line, that would give him exactly 100 yards receiving, but I imagine that they only gave him three. Back to throw, shoot. And he lofts it out there. That's a good catch. I think that's Duncan making that grab. It is Michael. He is knocked out of bounds by Marcellus Branch, but again, he's got himself a first down to the eight-yard line, I believe. Gets to go over their heads. Shoot fakes to Hebron. He'll fire, and that's a good catch. Not an easy catch between two defenders, but Mike Duncan went up, and he's been a short-handed receiver all year, particularly coming across the middle as he took a good pop from Brad Vanis but not before the ball is up to the 36-yard line, and that is a 19-yard pickup. Next Saturday afternoon at 1 o'clock, a huge football game. Downfield, and wow, 
drilling it between three defenders is Andrew Shoup, perhaps his best throw of the ball game. Mike Duncan with the catch, the tackle made by Jeremy Moore, but not before they get into Georgetown territory, a gain of 11 yards. Well, just a, a pretty route right there, a flood route out there. Mark Ross clears it out. Duncan comes in around that little 15-yard out pattern. You're going to see just loft it over the linebacker, and this didn't clear Atwater's hand by more than a couple inches. But now an important third and four. Back to throw, Dwight. Throws it out here, and now can Duncan get the first down? He can. Mike Duncan will take it up to the 49-yard line, and he'll pick up seven, and that will move the chains. They're all over. Got a player down. Looks like Pat Friel not make them vulnerable to that kind of hit, and that throw made Vaughn vulnerable. Back to throw, Dwight. Looking, firing, touchdown. That ball right in the middle of the belly. A perfect throw. That's a 17-yarder from Zach Swizek. Oh, this is kind of what we expect out of the Colgate defense. They're going to give it up. you got to take it, and you think if you're Lafayette right now, get in the gun and do these things. We saw this is a play they've gone back to now with Mike Duncan down the seam. And I like what Mike did here. He stayed in the seam. Nice for him, James. We'll keep looking. From the 35, second and 15. Swizek. He's going to go. It's going to be another touchdown. Duncan, no, he's not going to quite get a TD, but he'll get the ball all the way down to the 17-yard line. A 48-yard pass play. How about the day Mike Duncan has had? He's now up to 72 yards on three catches. Yeah, and that was a real nice job by Swayzik in the pocket. First and 10 from the 37-yard line. Back to throw, Swayzik. He'll fire. And it's a good catch as uh, extending his entire body that time was Mike Duncan at 6-1. And he'll make the grab at the 40. Here, Lafayette will look at a second and 17. Just looking to pick up maybe half of it back right here. He'll run the option again. No, so wide open is Duncan again. Mike Duncan will make the grab to the 40. To the 35, he's headed to the sideline. Final play of the third quarter. Quick out, Duncan makes the catch. Won't be a first down, just a gain of three yards, the yards of a field goal. Oh, Mike Duncan, he's had a career day. How about riding him for another five yards? That's what Ian Williams did, as Mike Duncan will take them all down to the 46-yard line without a senior, led by Zach Weisick, the sophomore quarterback. And Weisick can go. There's a little trick operation wide open downfield to Lafayette. Is Mike Duncan. He'll make the catch, and he will get hemmed in at about the 20-yard line. Boy, if Weisick would have led him a little bit, that was an automatic touchdown. No market at the 19. That is a 49-yard pass play. Well, Mike Duncan got behind him last week against Colgate. He got behind him. But this is, again, just an easy little flea flicker. And you, you said it, Derek. He leads him maybe five yards out in front. Mike Duncan walks into the end zone.